Desiree Ellis, this is a Bartina song in Bule. And uh, oh, she'll be hoping that if she can continue as she has done in charge of Banyana Banyana, she might scoop a, uh, a fourth calf. You know, for sure, I think uh, just this 90 minutes, Banyana Banyana will be seeing themselves as a worthy opposition and ready to take on Brazil. Well, there's Brazil in their blue change strip that get us underway. Banyana Banyana facing the first of two tests against the Selecao. Uh, setting the tone for this uh, double header out here at the Orleans. Rafaele captains the side uh, today, earning her 76th cap for the Brazil national team. Looking for Caroline. Put a bit of pressure on the ball carrier. how to they celebrated the smiles on their faces i think bangana bangana just really pushed them shaky moments in the first half but of course if it is that bangana bangana started with a bit of confidence no respect for the position i think maybe the scores would have been still a bit even because of the chances that bangana bangana have created for themselves as well what they do is just sit back a little bit just defend those ball because of they got area stars at the back also looking at uh, those goals from Brazil, we saw one from Geisa and Adriana, but the impact of the likes of Dubinia in this game have been absolutely impressive. Yeah, Dubinia is a seasoned campaigner in this Brazilian team, and you can just see in the way, she, uh, in, the way in which she plays. Opportunity for her onto the park in place of uh, Caroline. And then it turned out for under-17s and under-20s, Michaele makes her debut is also uh, the introduction of 26 year old Tace who makes her sixth appearance in national team colors the player from Palmeiras and then Sweden in the Albertina Sassuolo centenary challenge and got a very admirable 0-0 draw against the side who eventually ended third at uh, the World Cup and McLaren applying some pressure. Clamini's header passed upon by Adriana. Back in the possession of Brazil with Rafael. Rafael on the ball again. The uh, team to kind of come through the intercontinental playoffs. And I think we're all crossing fingers that we'll see more African sides uh, in the World Cup than just the four. But uh, the 32 teams. And yes, for those watching and maybe not aware, 32 teams expanded from 24. If you think back, 2011, that's just over 10 years ago, it was 16 teams. That's doubled in the space of 10 years. So women's football growing rapidly, supported by uh, FIFA. But uh, yeah, the point I was trying to make, the draw coming to find out... <laughs>